Hello my friends, how's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel. I am here to share with you some things I picked up at Dollar Tree. So I haven't been to Dollar Tree in a couple weeks. I'm trying not to go to like every week because you know I always find something there, always. So <laughs> anyway, of course I found some things because I hadn't been in, in at least two weeks, maybe more. But uh, I was, uh, this might be a Thrifty Thursday video, so if it is, Welcome to hashtag Thrifty Thursday, and you're everyone's welcome to participate. Just use the hashtag Thrifty Thursday in your title, link my channel, and be please be a subscriber and to participate in the collaboration and just uh, share your goodies on Thursdays. And um, I think that's it. Uh, just make sure you tell people about the you know the collab and how they can participate. If I forgot anything, it will be in my description box. But what I got, you know, and looked at, I'm trying to remember if I went there for something in particular. Because I, this has um, been waiting for me to do a video for a couple of weeks now. So I needed to, I want to use these things in my current journal. So I needed to go ahead and, and I need to clean up my craft room a little bit. It's getting a little uh, crazy in here because I'm working on so many things. But yeah, I want to use these things. So... Let me show you what I got. Just to pick up a few things, really. There was a lot more there for fall and Halloween, but uh, you know I don't need a whole lot, so I just got the things that really called to me. So let me show you. Uh, first of all, let me show you what I what I got. Uh, I've got to look in my. I have one little drawer here in my craft room full of index card. It's my index card drawer, and uh, like I don't need any, but I didn't know if I had. See this color right here or. These were all in one package. I already opened it so things would be easy to show you. But anyway, that was there. I think I don't think they normally have these colors in this package for $1.25. I mean, this is a lot. These are just lined on the front in case, you know, every index card is not made alike. Some of them have lines on the front and the back and some of them don't. This one, these have lines just on the front. And uh, they are, this is the color I was going for right here. I mean, I love all the colors. Um, I love working with index cards and making little, you know, journaling cards really out of these. Uh, you know, and you can use any type of theme. You can lean towards sewing or recipe or just generic, floral, botanical, whatever. You know, Halloween, uh, go, little golden books, you know, you got your colorful little cards you can make into journaling cards but I really was going for that color because I didn't think I had it so I gotta go check my index card drawer and see if I do have it but anyway I got these it's just a bunch of fun pretty colors and then kind of to match that I think I guess it was on the same aisle <laughs> so I was just checking to see what they had for back to school and you know if they had some different things at the end that they don't usually carry and I found this little notepad of colored papers. So I thought these would be fun to also put into journals. And of course, you can put them in just like this. Fold them up, uh, decorate them a little bit, put a little sticker on them, whatever. But And then what, what I see them being used as is, you know, journaling spots. Like say if you have a page with a, something on it, but you want to make that into a writing spot, I would just glue one of these pretty pieces of paper right down on that page right in the middle you could round the corners or something let's see what this looks like with rounded corners but yeah you could round the corners and uh, make it a little kind of prettier with rounded corners and then glue it down and write on it put a little decoration on it on it decoration on it draw on it doodle on it just anything you know just have fun with paper in your junk journal even if it's just a little piece of paper like this it's colored and it's pretty there we go so that could be really pretty on a page or sometimes it's fun to fold them in half and make a little you know you could put a little decoration here and then do your journaling in here and glue that down so you have a little opening there a little something you know different so, you know, so many things we can do just with little pieces of paper like this, and they're colored, so I thought that was fun. So that, that's my papery goodies I got. Then I also got some ribbons. 
I've got three, three, three that uh, really called to me and that I don't have anything like them. So like I have a burlap ribbon, just plain, you know, the tannish color, but I didn't, I saw this pretty kind of orangey color with gold on the outside edges there. I thought it was so pretty, so I thought for sure I could use that. <clears throat> on these two smaller <clears throat> uh, ribbon spools, I have, there are four yards, so that is a good amount for $1.25, right? I thought so. So we've got that one, the orangey one, and we've got this one. It's, all right, there was cellophane around here. I already took it off so I could show you, not waste time during the video, but orange and white gingham. I thought that was so, so pretty. I love gingham, and I do not have any uh, this color. I do have some that's kind of a lighter orange and it's a thinner, you know, not as wide as this. It's about a quarter of an inch wide. Kind of orangey, but not this orange. Like this is like a true orange and the other one's like a yellow orange. <laughs> so, yes, there is a difference. So, and this is kind of a uh, different feeling too. The other one's kind of it's almost silky and this one's kind of a uh, fabric like almost like a burlap but not it's kind of a woven it's a weave kind of a woven fabric so just a different texture and just different color and different um you know size and things from what i have so i went ahead and got that and uh this too uh wired ribbon i thought would be handy so this i would probably i don't know if i would put it in a halloween journal but i might but for sure you know, a fall journal. If it's fall slash Halloween or um, just fall, this would be so cute as a belly band. Like either this way or this way, or you could make it into a pocket. And it is wired here on the edges. So that is kind of what I thought would be such a fun uh, belly band and so cute. And so let's see a few other things. Let me move that back. Let me show you uh, these right here. I have a few uh, sunflowers, but I'm just about to run out. So I went ahead and picked these up while they had them in for fall. And, you know, I think sunflowers can be used. Like I would make a sunflower or include sunflowers in a journal in summer and fall. Because that's when, I mean, at least around here, the sunflowers bloom in the summer, right? When it's really hot. They like the hot weather. <laughs> but you also see them in fall journals. So lots of uses for these. So I got the two sizes here. These are both on wires. As you can see, there's six in here and nine in here. And I'm, I see myself cutting the wires off, but you never know. The wires could come in handy too. So, But there's wires, and I just would use a little... Uh, these are these are pretty strong wires on here wire cutters on that one and let me feel these yeah these are strong wire too and they're not like some some little uh, they're not a little wimpy wire that you could cut with scissors I would say wire cutters to cut those off but I definitely think see, these will come in handy and then these ribbons if I do make fall journals I'm hoping to make another at least one fall journal but these, they had several um, different, uh, you know, ribbons like this or two on a card. And they had several different, you know, patterns as far as fall colors and things. And these were my favorite. And uh, you can see they were really my favorite because I got two of them, <laughs> not just one. But they're so pretty. I don't know, remember seeing these before. You know, they're a stiff kind of uh, textured ribbon. I just thought they were so pretty. And then I could definitely probably use these in a fall journal. So if I don't make one this year, I would probably definitely make one last next year. So I'll have them ready, you know, to use way before the fall next year. I'll be prepared to, um, you know, use those in a fall journal. So I already opened these little felt stickers. Let me dump them out so I can show you all of them because they're so, so, so cute. <laughs> I got three packages and they had more. I just went through and picked out my favorite ones and looked to see really in detail what was inside so I could pick out like the package with my favorite ghost or the package with my favorite little bats. So in a combination because they had 
packages with different combinations of uh, kind of like all these things in different combinations. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's morning and I need a drink of coffee, don't I? There we go. That's better. A little moisture there. But yeah, I got my coffee here. So let me show you these little stickers. Uh, so they're felt stickers and I just thought for $1.25 a lot comes in the package, first of all. So I thought, you know, I don't know if you've ever tried to work with felt, but, you know, I can just see myself. I would never be able to cut this out so nicely <laughs> and then draw all these little lines. I mean, I shouldn't say never. It can I could do it, but it would be it would just take so much time. And for $1.25, they're all ready for me. You know, a nice felt sticker. Uh, you know, you got this this little piece you peel off on the back. This has little stitch lines and the you know little ghost faced. So that's that one. Then we have this little owl. I'm sure there's I think there's usually four of each in these packages. So this little owl. Well, I'm sure we'll run across more of those in a second. Uh, here's another little owl. So so cute. I just love these. And they're layered too. Can you imagine cutting all of these layers? There's one, two, three layers on here. So, and then you've got the little decoration with the lines and the eyes and everything. So, let's see, we haven't looked at this bat yet. There's a couple different bats in here. This one with the purple background. You see the yellow and purple. And then there's the four of those. And there's another one in here, let me see. Oh, this one here with the yellow, let me turn it upright. But this one here with the yellow background. So adorable. There's one more in here, here he is. All the bats. <laughs> so cute. So those. And then let's see, we've looked at the black owl with the yellow eyes. Here's an orange owl with the yellow eyes. Kind of the same as this one. But this one's orange and this one's black. So cute. And then we already looked at this one. And here's a bat, another one of my yellow bats. Or my purple background bats. Okay, so next pumpkins. Lots of different pumpkins in here. There's this one and this one. Look at the little, see these have, you can see the eyes. This has two layers, this has two layers. And they've got the eyes and the mouth jack-o'-lantern jack style and then so here's another one of those and another one of those that I just showed you and there's this pumpkin oh I just showed you that one let me get those over here and find the ones we haven't seen yet so these are thought were really cute they're they have you know like the printed face and then they're one layer and they have little see the little sewing or stitch marks around the edge I thought those were adorable See, there's one more of those. And then this one, another one with stitching on it, like zigzag stitching around the outside. So there's four of those. This is one layer. So cute. <laughs> I love them. Oh, this one has a little star on it. Where'd that come from? I wonder if that's desk ephemera. I don't, I don't know. I think that was in the package, though. I don't think I put... I don't think I had little puffy stars, or I might have. I uh, have puffy stars out here. Anyway, we saw this one. Here we have not seen this owl. So we had the orange owl, the black owl, and now this one. And also, all the owls are three layers. There's another little something there, picking up all my stuff. So yeah, all the owls are three layers because they have the back, and then the two layers for the glasses. This one, let me see. Is there more of these? No, there's only, we already saw this one, right? Did I show you that one? I don't know if I did. Oh yeah, there, there, there. Nope, nope. Okay, here's this one. Okay, yeah, I did. And so, yeah, I don't see any more of these. There's only two of these. That's weird. But look at this one. This one's missing its black lines. See the black lines that outline the wings? This one doesn't have the black lines. I, it doesn't even matter to me. But if I really wanted them, I could draw them on there. 
<laughs> so it doesn't really matter. And then I think I had to have the package with these cats. So they are, oh, there's five cats. Isn't that weird? But anyway, I don't care. <laughs> They're just so adorable. I love those cats. So they have two layers. You can see the orange and the black. So I can't wait to use some of those. Some of these, I'm sure they'll last more than a year because there's a plenty here. But um, yeah, I think these would be fun. And you can just put them on a page or put these little, you know, felt stickers on a uh, tag or a journaling card. Just wherever you want a decoration, even on an index card. Look how it would be to put, let's see, what do we want? Put a little um, something on a in, on an index card. Let's see, any certain color? No, it doesn't matter. Let's put one on here and just see what it looks like real quick. Because I really can't wait to use these, so I'm going to use one right now. <laughs> and let's see. Let's try out the sticky too. It's plenty sticky enough where it probably would stick down forever, but I would still go ahead and add a little bit of something here just to make sure. So let's add a little bit of, uh, I mean, it is fabric, felt it's fabric, right? But I'm gonna try this art glitter glue too. See, try it out, see how it adds to the stickiness. So just a little bit here and there we go, a little bit all over, drip in there. Fortunately, it dries clear <laughs> and doesn't leave a mark. <laughs> but look how cute. There we go. And if I cut this in half, I'll show you what I was talking about. Let me see if I can I still, let me see. I don't think I mentioned it. Did I mention, I like to cut these in half, these index cards. But let me show you what I'm talking about real quick. We have a minute before, we have plenty of minutes, I think, before my camera might cut me off, but here's what it looks like whole. Let me grab my cutter, because I want to cut Ooh. even this little bit of distance. If I don't use my cut paper cutter, there's a good chance it will not be straight. The line, the cut line will not be straight. So let me use my paper cutter here and try to cut this as much in half by eyeballing it. <laughs> Try to cut it in the middle, about right there, I think. <clears throat> okay, now look how cute it is when you cut an index card in half. <clears throat> and then just around the corners, let me use this side. Um, yes, I always have my supplies listed in my Amazon list under my videos in case you're ever wondering where anything I use comes from. But there's that one. And let's see, so uh, you can see it's a small index, or, you know, now it's a journaling card. And let me see, uh, the other, let's put a little, <clears throat> I need another sip of coffee. But um, let's put a little cat on this one. These are so cute. So I could, this could be a mobile craft or a TV craft, where you just take these stickers and some index cards and something to cut with and just make a bunch of these and have them ready for your journal and you can do this with any sticker oh let me round the corners before I put that on there because it could be a little hard if that puffy sticker <laughs> to get that puffy sticker inside there okay so let's put this on here and see what it looks like so adorable there we go <laughs> isn't that cute and so yeah you get the idea I just couldn't wait to do that and I love cutting them, cutting them in half like that. I wanted to measure these because, you know, I always think of three by five index cards. <clears throat> and I think they used to look smaller, don't you? Let me see if they're making them smaller to save money or something. No, it is three inches and it is, it is five inches. I don't know why these look small to me, but they are three by five. Okay, that is good to know. <laughs> anyway, thanks guys and I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and hit that little all under the bell by the um, subscribe button so that you will get my next notifications of my videos, and I'll see you then. Have a great day.